All right, let's pass some data to our view files. We can simply do this by using the second parameter of the render function. We can simply pass in an array and these values will be accessible in the view file. In this example, it will be accessible by $foo and $bar. He uses this extract function in PHP that allows us to do this. So if we have an array with color uh, key value pairs like this, we can, if we use the extract function, we can access them using these variables like this, color, size, shape. So that's what he does. So let's do that. Now we'll have two variables, name, I'll put my name, oops, and I'll have age as well. And right now I'm 29 years. So let's pass these two from the render function. We'll do name is equal to dollar name and h is h. Okay. And let's access these in our view file. We'll have a h1 saying echo and we'll have the name and we'll have the age simple as that and if you refresh you will get those two values here and that's how you pass in values to our view files there's another approach that you can do as i mentioned in a previous lesson that you can use this context to access the properties and methods of an of a controller but this is not the recommend way of doing it normally we use this method to pass values to our view files okay yeah that's it for this lesson i'll see you on the next one please do subscribe share and like my videos thank you very much bye